So this image was posted publicly back in January by an art company that works with multiple mobile game developers, including Lilith. And many people in the community have been sharing this image, saying that this could be a new commander we see coming soon to Rise of Kingdoms what's going on guys cheers now i'm gonna say right at the front of this video this is not a leak okay this is not a leak look at me it's not a leak okay these are rumors that are floating around the community based on an image that is a couple of months old so i don't actually know if this is something that is coming to rise of kingdoms but i'm gonna share the sources of this image and this character and let you guys know why people think that that could be the case even though you know the art design is it's close right it's close i think that this character could fit into rise of kingdoms maybe with a couple of color adjustments uh his legs are pretty thin which is pretty common for rise of kingdoms characters but they could be a little bit thinner okay so i'm not really sure if this is legitimate or not but here you you can see this character appearing on a tweet from January 20th, 2022 by an account called share creators. And if we take a look at that account, they are a design and art company that make digital assets for games. And if we take a look at their Pinterest account, you can see that they shared the same image again. Now I know this says ROK here. That is actually just one of the boards that I've saved. So don't, don't actually take that as fact. And if we dig a little bit deeper, we can go to their website, sharecreators.com, and you can see that that they have a ton of major clients, including EA, Microsoft, NetEase Games, Tencent, Bungie, and Lilith Games. So this is why players are thinking that potentially this is a commander for Rise of Kingdoms. Also, if you take a look at the hashtags here, they put hashtag AFK, hashtag ROK. So my assumption is that they designed or whoever works for this company designed this character with Lilith in mind. So this doesn't necessarily mean that it's specifically for ROK and that it will come to the game, but it's, you know, it's, it's a similar art style to what we see in ROK. And, you know, obviously these tags are not a mistake, especially considering we know that they work with Lilith games. So if this is indeed uh, a character that is coming to rise, of kingdoms um and lilith did not want this to be out into the public well perhaps they should uh talk to their clients that they're working with to not release this publicly before they're ready because again this is this is not in the game asset files anywhere it's just it's just posted from a reputable source so I mean, it's, it's out on the internet. I don't know, you know, if, if this is real, I don't know what Lilith expects me to do. Okay. I, I don't know if this is real. I don't think this is real. Maybe potentially, I don't know. Okay. This is just a rumor, but like the evidence is pretty strong to suggest that this character was created for rise of kingdoms. Now, if we take a look at uh, some of the details here, you see a lot more detail on this character than you would see in game for rise of kingdoms okay uh you know most of like the leather here is just flat leather there's you know obviously there's some fur and stuff like that but if we take a look here you can see the armor is like glistening you can see that there's like battle marks around the armor and stuff like that so I think that there's a little bit more definition here than we might expect. Um, it's possible that, that this image is for promotional material only. The reason that I say that is because this version of Bjorn Ironside is also seen on the same share creators Pinterest page. And obviously this image is a bit, a little bit higher quality than the Bjorn we actually see in game in rise of kingdoms like i mean it, if we compare that to this like it's it's night and day right so it's possible that this image is sort of you know if we imagine it's cut off like here you put the rise of kingdoms logo down here you could imagine that this might be a promotional image for a new legendary commander coming to the game and if we upload this image to google image search you can see that it's posted in a couple of other places mostly just from that share creators page but there is a page here that has a slightly different version of that image there's uh, actually a couple different copies here and if you take a look at the bottom it says art station rise of kingdoms a rolling character now this was one week ago okay and i don't know who this account is i don't know what th th this looks like it's poorly translated i don't think that's really what it is uh, but it says roland character and what that has people thinking is that this character is actually called roland who is a frankish military leader under charlemagne so what we could be seeing here is a brand new infantry commander that's what this could potentially be again is this a leak no okay this is just a rumor this is just my speculation i'm just piecing together public data okay that's literally what this is this is public information uh, and i'm just piecing it together for you guys just to raise a little question mark like 
could this be it okay could this be it there is speculation that the next commanders coming into the game are going to be infantry and if that is the case if this is roland then we could we be seeing maybe some charlemagne support okay that would be quite interesting if we see some support for commander that is historically regarded as one of the worst commanders in the entire game where is he there he is all the way at the bottom here charlemagne your boy okay this is uh it's an interesting comparison okay now if we take a look um at the sword here you can see that the end of the sword is very similar to the end of the sword here is it identical no it's not identical but i would say it's close enough okay it looks like the cape is sort of fashioned in a similar manner but besides that i would say most of the artwork here is is different uh i think the boots and the just the stance in general this this is very reminiscent of a rise of kingdoms character if it isn't one but i think it would be really interesting if we did actually get to see some support for charlemagne so if our next commanders in the game are our infantry right and Roland assuming is going to be one of those commanders um, then could it be the case that we see an infantry conquering and skill based commander from France that would be really cool really interesting stuff now personally I would rather not see a conquering commander come out of infantry I think right now like it's pretty clear that the the rally meta is going to be uh cavalry I mean hey you never know right you, you really never know and of course just because historically this uh, this this military leader um worked under Charlemagne that does not mean that he would have the same talent trees as Charlemagne in the game right like obviously obviously okay that's quite the stretch um but I'm just using that as an example now there is a bit of mythology around Roland okay there's really apparently only like one historical mention of his actual existence but there's a huge legacy behind him as somebody that was related to Charlemagne and part of his army and I think that it would make sense that they could turn that into a pretty interesting commander in rise of kingdoms if they did in fact decide to put Roland into the game I think that they've picked more random characters before right so it wouldn't be that big of a stretch to assume that uh, this French commander could make his way in there now I want to point out one other thing and that is the fact that these images were shared to a rise of kingdoms Facebook group called rock world this account has been around on Facebook for I, I don't know like two or three years at this point but they've shared multiple of the images that we've already seen before including this image which is not something that we've seen so that that is quite interesting but one thing that makes me think that this might not actually be a commander in rise of kingdoms is that it looks like there's a 3d render of this character so I don't know where they got this 3d render from okay because I haven't been been able to find it on the internet but typically rise of kingdoms characters do not have 3d renders like this they, they just they don't really need to have a 3d render like this because they are never uh they're never facing the back basically right I mean yes you have the little you have the little um character out in the open field but they would never make it to this uh extent it just doesn't seem like it makes any sense to me so if this is indeed for rise of kingdoms my question is why would they go through the effort of making a full 3d render when the game clearly doesn't utilize the the sides or back of a commander obviously they're moving slightly and they have a little bit of different dimensions uh, and a little bit of life added to them but a full 3d render seems to be like a stretch to me so I don't know uh just how accurate this is if it is actually a character that could be coming to the game I have no idea um one thing that is certain though is that people really feel that we're going to be seeing an infantry commander coming next now again these are just rumors okay uh th this is not found in the game files anywhere I have no actual information as to if this is real if it is what are the talent trees what are the skills we don't know anything okay we don't know anything other than that this image is out there it may be a, a linked to ROK in some way um and that's pretty much it so we don't know anything about a second commander right we don't know anything about who this might be paired with or who else might be coming at the same time because obviously usually commanders come out in pairs right they come out with a wheel of fortune and a mightiest governor that's usually the cycle so if this is one of them we don't know what the other one is but it seems to be the case that it's probably infantry right it's probably infantry but I mean what what I, it, there's no way it could be anything else right it's either infantry or leadership right there's I mean there's no way we don't see spurs on the boots or anything there's nothing that really indicates cavalry here uh there's no bow and arrow or anything so I, I I don't know man but this looks like infantry to me now there are other rumors going around about infantry commanders okay this is like this is hot new season because we know they're coming soon okay we've got uh Rustam and Hercules here I think before we even read this I think these are fake okay I think these are fake 
I think that these are just wishful thinking from a player that wants this to be true or they're just kind of spitballing ideas as to what it could be um obviously you know Roland and Rustam maybe there was a translation issue there I have no idea um but let's take a look at this just for fun why not so commander one Hercules okay we're gonna be are we gonna really see Hercules in the game we're we gonna see Disney's Hercules in here probably not okay but it says active skill deals direct damage up to five targets in a forward fan-shaped area damage factor of 1500 targets affected by the skill deal 25 percent less damage for the next three seconds that seems insane uh seems very powerful aoe there i don't know how that could be possible maybe it is we're seeing a lot of power creep in the game lately so hey who knows maybe maybe that's the case skill two says infantry defense health and march speed 15 percent okay that would be realistic we would get a little bit of march speed on infantry that we desperately need defense and health are great um it's only 15 percent but I mean hey those are two premium stats and you can move a little faster skill three says normal attacks dealt by this commander have a 10 percent chance of removing all debuffs from this army incoming normal attacks have a 10 percent chance of activating a shield of factor 1000 has a cooldown of eight seconds so this would be interesting to see how this uh how this works a 10 percent chance of removing all debuffs is actually really good because that doesn't say that there's a cooldown on this part whereas you know maybe this this cooldown on here is is for the entirety of the skill so who knows maybe if this uh, second part pops off this first part will be in that cooldown who actually knows but a 10 percent chance to remove all, remove all debuffs is incredibly good um and a 10 percent chance of a nice shield i mean that's not as good as like uh let's say charles martel for example but i mean it's passive you get it for free like you don't have to generate any rage to get this you just have to get lucky which is i mean hey that's really really cool skill four when the army only has infantry takes up to 25 percent less damage and increases counterattack damage up to 25 percent based on the number of enemy marches hitting this commander's army so we've seen um sort of features like this on commanders right uh, the more that you're surrounded the more that the skill takes uh you know the stronger the skill actually is um i think that that could be really cool and if this is true pairing this with pakal could start to get pretty nasty so i don't know man i again i don't know if this is going to be real finally the expertise says targets affected by this commander's active skill take eight percent extra damage from infantry marches for the next three seconds that's an interesting expertise and hey if you're an infantry main that means you could be dealing a ton of extra damage just by having this commander out in the open field so I don't know guys I don't think this is legit uh because you know if this hits five targets and it deals a huge 1500 damage factor to all of them and all those targets deal 25 percent less damage and all those targets would then take an eight percent extra damage from all infantry marches like that seems a little bit insane okay that seems a little bit insane imagine you are getting hit by five infantry marches that means you're taking 40 percent more damage from from like in total for three seconds like that I, I don't know and dealing 25 percent less it seems too good this commander seems too good and I just don't see Hercules being in the game like I, I just don't so yeah again I think that's fake but interesting to look at let's take a look at this second commander active skill deals direct damage of a thousand and takes 40 percent less damage for three seconds pretty plain pretty vanilla skill two infantry defense and health 20 percent so here we're seeing a a really similar second skill here I don't think that they would do that I don't think that they would release two commanders at the same time that buff the same stats in a similar manner I don't know maybe I'm crazy but yeah I, I I have no idea okay skill three when this commander is actively targeting an enemy March and if that March casts any debuff on this commander's army that enemy March takes instant 300 damage per second for the next three seconds commander's army should uh only have infantry for the skill to work while being a garrison commander increases all damage by 10 percent so are we seeing this as a garrison commander this could be quite interesting okay um that would make sense we see the infantry defense and infantry health by 20. if we take a look at artemisia you can see that they have defense and health both by 20 percent so this is kind of in line with that if you take a look at Wuzetian, you also see that this commander get, gains uh on the third skill we get 10 percent defense and 10 percent health as well so there is you know there there are multiple garrison commanders in the game where you do see a health defense combination 20 percent for each would be insanely good so I love to see that um again is it real I don't know but this could be quite good right if you have if you're taking multiple rallies and one of those rallies has the sole purpose of debuffing your garrison 
well here you're going to be dealing 900 damage factor uh every single time that that happens um if you have a full infantry garrison which could be quite tricky i know a lot of people like to send the wrong marches and things like that so that's something to keep in mind but yeah 10 percent all damage for the garrison is quite cool skill four infantry attack 20 percent counter attack damage 15 percent while being a garrison commander deal five percent extra damage to rallies that's pretty cut and dry pretty standard stuff there expertise says normal attacks have a 10 percent chance of silencing the target for the next three seconds that's pretty interesting okay that's pretty interesting depending on your rage engine could you potentially prevent them from using active skills for three seconds that's actually nuts uh if we take a look inside here we've got herman his active skill has a two second silence so the three second silence here would be pretty good again i think both of these probably fake okay probably fake these are not from reputable sources so i have no reason to believe that these are true but i'm just sharing them here in this video in case you guys want to get an idea of what the community is thinking having a little bit of a discussion about what could be coming next i think building excitement for the game is good right it's a good thing so why not talk about it guys uh, if you found this video interesting right these are all rumors none of this is none of this is in the game none of this is leaks this is all public out there information okay so don't come after me if you're if you're from if you're from uh Lilith or whatever the case this this is already out there so don't don't blame me all right this was already out there anyway um guys if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it if you're new here make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video and if we get more news potentially officially about uh the next commanders whether it's this guy or not who knows um if that does happen then I will make sure to talk about it here on the channel so you want to stay subbed with the bell on so you don't miss that comment down below what you think about uh about this design here do you think this is real do you think this is fake I have no idea do you think Roland is a good idea do you think those skills that are that we talked about are real I don't think they are but let me know in the comment section below and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace